Nine habits it's better to get rid of as soon as possible. A team of researchers at University College London has proven that it actually takes an average of 66 days for something to become second nature. And kicking a deep-rooted habit can take much longer. Yet as hard as it might be, the following bad habits are definitely worth getting rid of. Don't put your feet up on the dashboard. Passengers like to sit however they're most comfortable. In tons of movies, we see the coolest characters riding shotgun with their feet nonchalantly up on the dashboard. But in reality, sitting like this is extremely dangerous. Apart from being a horrible position to find yourself in during a car accident, you also have to worry about braking, and we're talking about both spellings here. Keeping your feet up on the dash means that your face will hit your knees if the driver has to slam the brakes, which means that you could break your teeth, jaw, nose, or other facial bones. These types of injuries require a lot of recovery time and can leave a person with permanent facial deformities. So just drop this habit and get comfortable sitting with your back against the seat, feet on the floor, and your seatbelt across your chest. Don't hang wet towels on hooks or leave the shower curtain open. This is one of those daily habits we all do on autopilot. Once you finish showering, you slide open the curtain, dry off, and hang your wet towel on the nearby hook. But you might not be aware of how utterly unsanitary this is. Bacteria love to multiply in the wet creases of the towel, and mold can grow in the folds of the gathered up shower curtain. That's why it's better to let your wet towels dry unfolded and to close the shower curtain each time you step out. Don't drink coffee on an empty stomach. If you're a fellow coffee-holic, you probably make a beeline to the kitchen as soon as you open your eyes in the morning. No shower, no breakfast, nothing comes before coffee. Although there's nothing wrong with the coffee itself, drinking it on an empty stomach is the last thing you want to do. Doing this can cause heartburn and digestive problems. That's because your stomach starts releasing gastric acid not only when you're hungry and thinking about food, but also when you drink coffee. But if there's no food in your stomach while you're having your cup of joe, this leads to the release of too many gastric acids that can damage the lining of the stomach. Experts recommend drinking coffee only after eating breakfast or in the middle of the day. Don't eat popcorn. You go to the movies, buy the biggest bucket of popcorn they have, and grab a jumbo-sized Coke with it. This isn't just a habit, it's a cultural norm. It's ingrained in our DNA, but Sadly, this cinema staple isn't so good for you. Dentists say that popcorn can do serious damage to your teeth, and it's not even the kernel itself, but the thin shell surrounding it that's harmful. It can get stuck between the teeth and in the gums where it easily stays unnoticed, and brushing your teeth won't get at all, so you end up with cavities or even lose a tooth. Plus, movie theater popcorn is really high in fat, which is also bad for you. Fight the urge to order popcorn next time you go to the cinema, and you may be surprised to find that a movie without popcorn is just as enjoyable. Don't leave a bottle of water in the car. If you're a driver, chances are you always keep a bottle of water in your car. Whether you hold onto it in case of an emergency or just because you're trying to increase your water intake, keep in mind that this is a rather dangerous habit, especially in the summer. The problem is that the water in the bottle acts sort of like a magnifying glass, and if sunlight reaches it, especially if the bottle is on a dark surface, it can actually start a fire. The probability of this happening is pretty small, but it does exist. So don't take your chances, however small they might be. Simply take your water bottle with you when you get out of the car. Don't pop pimples. We all know the rule, but it's just so dang tempting. Popping pimples might not seem like a big deal, but you'll think twice after hearing this. A pimple emerges when a pore gets clogged with dead skin cells and excess oil. Bacteria growth in the area causes swelling, redness, and sometimes pain. If a body is healthy, it sends white blood cells to fight the bacteria. But when you pop a pimple, you break the skin open and make it susceptible to even more bacteria, which can lead to even more breakouts. You can also risk getting a serious infection if your hands are dirty. And finally, popping pimples often leads to scarring. Instead of squeezing a pimple, try some over-the-counter spot treatments to zap that zit away. If you struggle with more serious breakouts, see a dermatologist, because you might need a more potent remedy. Don't take pictures of everything on your phone. In the era of Instagram and Snapchat, we automatically reach for our phones to document almost everything we do or see. But when you try to capture everything on your camera, you end up missing a lot of important details, at least according to a 2013 study by psychologists at Fairfield University. The researchers took participants to an art museum and divided them into two groups. The first group simply walked around and admired the exhibits with their eyes only. The second group took pictures of the art pieces. 
They were then given a questionnaire about the exhibit, and those from the second group did worse than the first. This means that when you're snapping a photo, your attention is focused on the picture itself, not on what you're photographing. As a result, you'll have a memorable picture or video, but your real impressions will be pretty weak. So next time you're about to whip out your camera to capture a moment, just relax, put it back in your bag, and trust your memory to do its work. Don't take dietary supplements. Many people think that taking dietary supplements will keep their body in perfect working order. For example, lots of people take vitamin C to boost their immune system. But if this was true, medical practices would be going out of business left and right. If you have a healthy, balanced diet, it's pointless for you to take vitamins on top of that since you already get the necessary quantity of them from your food. Dietary supplements are great if your body still lacks certain vitamins and minerals despite practicing good eating habits. But these pills are not medicine and they don't treat illnesses or diseases. Unless your doctor has recommended you take them, just focus on having a healthy and nutritionally balanced diet. Don't keep your charging phone under your pillow. Lots of us are guilty of putting our phones on the charger and sliding them under our pillow when we take a nap or go to bed. If you do this, then you really need to pay attention here. Despite the fact that lots of cell phones have improved with newer models, there are still smartphones with batteries that generate lots of heat. And if this heat doesn't dissipate, and it can't very much if it's under a pillow, the phone just gets hotter and hotter. This means that the device or the charger cord can catch fire, and if the charging phone is under your pillow, well, to state the obvious, you risk getting badly hurt. Take it from the guys who know best. The Newton, New Hampshire Fire Department warns everyone to never put a charging phone under their pillow. According to their statistics, over 50% of kids and teens are guilty of this fire hazard habit. Luckily, nobody has been badly hurt so far, but there have been several cases of a fire starting. So don't try your luck, stay on the safe side, and keep your charging phone off your bed. Are you guilty of any of these habits? Maybe there are a couple you've managed to kick? Tell us in the comments below.